Hi, welcome back to Ribbon Candy Hooking. I'm Deanna. I thought tonight we're doing another late night video, which seems to be our, our MO. A little bit crazy. A little bit, um, what's this stuff called? White, white claw? A little bit, little bit nutty. Another nutty dying night. Um, but I've been having fun in the last couple of hours because um, somebody wrote about our giveaway. We were doing our July giveaway, our second consecutive month giving away a wool bundle. And one of the pieces in the bundle is white that I kind of sprayed, splatter, spatter, whatever you want to call it, with these um, bottles that we ordered from Amazon, tons of them. And it came out really well, and a couple of people actually remarked that they thought it would become a mess and get all glued and muddied, and it came out great. So I'm gonna do a video of just that technique, because if you are somebody who does not want to start dying big time, huge scale, big expense, and all of that, and you want to do stuff that doesn't involve investing in a huge set of enamel pots and pans and all of that, um, this is a nice option for you. It's, you're going to get modeled, colored, multicolored pieces, but you are able to create color like I just did by ordering tons of these, what are these things called? Squirt bottle. Squirt bottles, like hairdresser bottles, squirt bottles off Amazon. They're dead cheap. And we have like a little kettle that I just put on a Bunsen burner on the table. I don't even fire up the stove when it's warm like this. And into a Pyrex cup, um, a little bit of dye, very small amounts for these bottles. These bottles are about a half a cup, these little ones. Um, maybe a little bit more. Four ounces. But um, how, how much? Four ounces. Four ounces. Four ounces, okay. So I was literally just heating up a kettle of water, pouring it into a Pyrex cup pouring the Pyrex cup that already has the spout so you don't need the funnel into these bottles and mixing some of my favorite color combinations together. So I created all of these colors in like an hour. It took no time at all. I put some of them straight from the packets and the bottles and I put some of them together because right now I'm projecting forward to fall and Halloween stuff. So I've got a lot of purples, greens, browns, um, autumn leaf colors. So we'll pause for a second and then we'll look at some of the colors that we have now. Okay, so I've got my assistant here. Hey, Jess. Hello. Hello. Whenever there's dying to do, she is right here on the scene. So here's some of my little bottles, and some of them come with stickers. I've got all my combinations here. I haven't done quantities. I'm not doing recipe stuff right now. I'm doing fun stuff. I'm doing fun 9.30 p.m. stuff. So like old rose and pink sand, cherry, strawberry, fuchsia. I've got my pinks out first. I love my pinks. Black, dark gray. All my, <laughs> all my color combos going into dark browns, um, mahoganies with gold, terracotta, bronze greens, rust. Sometimes what I do, if I have a little bit left over in the Pyrex dish, uh, the Pyrex cup, I just pour it onto another. Like, oh, rust could use some uh, fire red, right? Why not? And, and just use it up that way so I have interesting mixes of colors. Um, these are all going into the purples now. Getting that thing out of the way into the purples and the violets and the blues and the greens and the not much blue and here we go yep you're right going into the oranges the real brights so i've got quite a nice selection yeah this is my favorite orange and i don't know what these look like in the inside but yeah, hot pink. this one looks like it's going to be the best in the in the inside this that's one, cherry this one looks the best at the outside well you know just like dying easter eggs and stuff you don't know what you're getting box of chocolates yeah. here you don't know what you're getting until you squirt it onto yeah. the white material like, and the material you don't know what this one is but you can pull it rust the top. and fire red you can tell at the top yeah i'm gonna go get it right okay good uh, assistant is gonna um, get some sustenance so We're we are gonna come back in a stuff. second and just start squirting um, you can show your crystals later. Some of these colors onto the fabric and, and get some amazing spot dyeing going. All right, so here we go. So we actually did take out a piece of white enamel, partly because we are trying to save the table and partly because I think you can see it better when it's super white. I'm using some material that's already, that I've already dyed kind of an antique white. I had a bunch of sheets of it. So I thought, let's start with that because I'm doing fall pieces. So I don't really want like stark bright white like I used with the July giveaway fabric. That's really bright white. And I wanted the contrast and the bright popping color, but now I want it a little bit more mellow. So we've got everything set up here. I've got seven sheets that we can work on, seven different color combinations that we can experiment with. And I just pulled out two for now. Um, we also have a big piece of plastic on the table. Where did you get this plastic? It's just a big roll of... Okay, a big roll of plastic. Yeah. It's nice to put plastic down when you're fooling with dyes at all. Even on a small scale like this, when you've just got the bottles, 
and we will be putting affiliate Amazon links below so you can click and go directly to these bottles and Synthropol. Synthropol is the agent that I put into the big Tupperware tub that was in the bathroom in the shower soaking the fabric. You just put a drop in and it soaks uh, the fabric um, to, to the end that the fabric receives the color better. So for like, it's like $10 or something for this big bottle and you use it teeny, teeny amounts of it. Uh, it's super worth it. So all those links will be below. Let's get going. So I decided as the first inspiration to go with these colors. You with me? Yeah. Old rose and pink sand and bronze green. Should we see what we've got? Yeah, that sounds nice. Does that sound nice? This is kind of like a fun video with like... Green. Yeah, kind of like if we're marbling paper or something, which we've never done. I'm going to keep this keep that safe on my paper. All right, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Okay, so what I'm doing, I've got the squirt bottle. I'm just going to do some real careful pressure, squirting, dropping. And can, baby, stay away from my elbow, okay? I don't want to have to blame you for a disaster. I won't. And of course, <laughs> I could go real heavy-handed with this if I wanted to. I don't really want to. The point of this exercise is to create some really colorful polka dot sheets. Um, and one of the ladies in the group wrote on the sheet, oh, I wonder how that is going to hook. So of course, they're all going to hook differently, but um, I, want to, I want to do more and I want to hook them and put it all in the same video so that you know what this kind of thing looks like. It's beautiful so far. Thank you. You think so? That was uh, old rose mixed with, uh, old rose is a cushion color mixed with pink sand, which is a pro cam color. And now we've got bronze green. This is a straight old time cushion color. Yeah. <laughs> bronze green is beautiful. It's something, it's beautiful. It's something between green and brown. It looks uh, like Jay's pillowcase. Yeah. With the, with the, you know, the, the. Camouflage color? It is a bit of a camouflage color, yeah. It's got it's got a bit of a metallic color too, like a nice old frame. Yeah. It's real pretty. I like you know, I like bronze green. I feel like for a fall color, um, it's a beautiful color. This is one sided what I'm doing, right? I'm doing this on one side. There will be a little bleed through, and that's why we've got the pan and that's why we've got the plastic. But when I'm hooking it, when I'm cutting it, if I want these colors to be showing face up, then I would be cutting it and hooking it face up because I will have less color and less pattern on the back. What do you think now? Should we do, how about some mallard green like a duck? Yeah. Mm. Can I do this one? Sure. <laughs> okay, come on. <laughs> so, so we're not going to like full on squeeze it like water balloon style. We're going to... So polka dots, right? Yeah. We're going to, we're going to travel. Yep. Go ahead. You got this. Yeah. There she goes. Look at her go. And a little bit closer together, there she goes. Organic. So you can't make a mistake. A little bit further apart. <laughs> Micromanaging. Baby, you're doing a good job. I like the way you're going in between the other colors. That, what happened? That's okay. It'll get no absorbed. Geez. No, no, it's not an OGs. It's totally fine. Try to stay away from the other colors. So, you know, when you overlap two, they mix. So you can't really make a mistake. And don't forget, as a first time dyer here, don't forget to also go right to the edges. It's okay to get the pan dirty. Um, don't go too much in the center. You're doing some kind of concentric circles now, which are great. Yeah. And I love the mallard green. So maybe do a little bit more here and then hit the corners hard. Because you can see that even I was really remiss with getting color bronze into the corners here. Yeah. Now come back over here because we probably want to put more colors. Come to the edges. Oh, geez. What That's okay. Happened? Um, you squeeze the bottle really hard. <laughs> it, it must have slipped like and go like upside down. A maybe? bad cook blames their equipment. That's okay. Yes. Here, let me come over here because that's a heck of a stretch for you. You did yeah. wonderful. You know what? There's no point in agonizing when you make a little mistake like that because you know what? Rug hooking is supposed to be fun. And yes. the people who did it, you know, 100, 150, it 200 is, years ago, they weren't worried about a little bit of green over there. They weren't yeah. worried about that. They had and, and other things to worry this about. This blue screen is beautiful, so might as well put a little more. Why not? You know? Why not? More, less is not more. More is more. Now, what do you think? I know there's like a I droplet. Like a you want to go for a blue purple? You even read the label. Kindergarten graduate. They're not kindergarten anymore. No, I know. That's why I made the distinction and said that you are a graduate. That's now, great. Thank you. My hand is shaking. I don't know why. I only had one white claw. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I'm just gonna kind of, uh, I think this might be our last color because I like the background showing a little bit. Yep. These colors are bleeding into each other and that is heavenly, that is what we want. Just gonna make sure that there is some movement in all parts because we want our strips, even though they're gonna be mottled and spotty and colorful, we want them um, to have the same sort of color ratio from one to the next. Uh, we don't want one uh, strip to be 90% bare and the next strip to be, you know, confetti. So we're just going to be careful about consistency. This looks I... like birthday cake ice cream. Oh, well, there is such a thing as birthday cake ice cream. Yes, that's what it looks like. It looks like the ice cream because there's a ton of vanilla white looking thing in the background. So Joss, let me ask nice. you this. Will we be able to stop after this color or do you feel another color coming on? It's a loaded question. Huh? Mm -hmm. What does that even mean? Do you want to put one more color on top? Uh, or do you think we've achieved perfection? Maybe a little bit of hot pink, like a little bit in the corners maybe? You are a girl after my own heart. Like on the edges. Well, we would need it in the middle too because of yeah. the uniformity issue. Like so, going into the middle slightly. Okay, so let me ask you this. How hot How hot of a hot pink? And are you hot sure? Pink. Oh boy, here she goes. Here she goes. I'm just looking at Yeah, a, a little bit because... Don't want to oh, you know what? I think you did the right thing. Yes. Oh boy, did you ever do the? Oops, I just did a joss. <laughs> I'm doing well. Okay, so the the bottles differ from one to the next. Yes. I think I'm going to put a link uh, here to the darker cap bottles. Ooh, because these, wow, these really. Okay, so I might have ruined our piece. Sorry. Um, I'm going to have to keep going with it because, yeah, this one is like a hemorrhaging dye every time I tip it. Try, try to keep it more up, like the bottom. I am. I am, but it's like sands through the, the hourglass. Put your finger at the end. <laughs> what? Put your finger at the end. Block it. If I put my finger at the end, it's going to be covered with dye. Okay. Mama don't care that much. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be beautiful. It's, mm -hmm. We're going to have a little bit less yellow showing here. Yeah, this Mommy is really... Mama don't give us stuff. Mama don't give no stuffies. Thank you for... No stuffing. Stuffing. <laughs> we better stop there. <laughs> assistant, assistant, you're gonna get me in trouble. This is really fun. You think I so? Love this. You know what it doesn't look like to me? What? Autumn. What so, it doesn't look like to me is an old bridge. Nor does it look like an old bridge. So do you think I should add some orange to see if I can make it look more like autumn, or do you think we ought to stop while I we're mean, ahead? I mean, we have like six more of these, so... Yeah, so I could stop while I'm ahead. Yeah, mm. we, we can stop. Okay. Me, yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. See, I know, this this is like frightening. It's frightening. Um, I might have to search for some gloves. But you know what? This is okay. This is impressionistic. This is like pointillism. This is like Syrah. This, I'm getting ahead of myself. It's not exactly yeah. like Syrah. But it's quite pretty. So if you hang with us for another minute, we're going to move on to another one and try to achieve more of an autumn look. So I already dropped this particular piece into an already dirty pan that was a similar color, so it made sense. Yes. Uh, and what I've done, we're putting them, these, this casserole dish would be wonderful um, to put in the oven because it was already flat and we have multiples of these that we bought before we realized that they don't fit in the oven. Yes. So it's a, it's a little bit, it's a nice antique oven and it's a little bit um, too narrow. So I've got it into the pan and there's any manner of thing you can do here. What I did was I folded it into little pleats to create little hills and valleys. Um, and so I'm going to have a sort of pattern within the pattern. It's going to, gravity is going to pull some of this down and it's going to, you can see it's already on the move and we've got a lot of multicolor stuff going on. Would you like to remark on the colors? Yes. What would you like to say? Once again, it looks like a taco and all the colors are just like fruits. So a fruit taco. Yeah, fruit taco. So these are all the fruits and stuff. Yeah. And the whiteness is the, the crust. You know, the crusty the, taco. if I see a fruit taco at the menu of a local place, I'll know somebody was standing at the window again, ruining our lives by stealing our best ideas. We're going to put the fruit taco in the oven in just a minute. We're going to move on to our next piece. Fruity taco. Okay, so fruity taco done. Let's move on to different colors. I'm going yes. to start this time with black. This is a, a, a pro chem color called uh, jet black. Yes. So I've got I've got these um, awesome. containers again. Let's see what happens. Okay. So this one 
it's going to be very different from container to container, right? Because this one is not hemorrhaging at all. This is much more manageable. Yes. Right. So, you know, I this love... This is better if mm -hmm. you're, like, the kind of person that, like, with these balls, you, like, like turn them like that, like, almost fully upside down. That That's what this one's for. It's where you can put it, like, far down like that. Well, you know, the problem with stuff like this is if you're holding the bottle and going, God, I hope I don't squeeze it too hard, I hope I don't squeeze it too hard, um, you're totally going to squeeze it too hard. I, I'm not going to tell a horrible story of when I was a little bit... Uh, incapacitated one <laughs> evening coming out of the pub and riding a bike toward a pole sticking out of the middle of the road. The point is when you're trying really hard not to do something, there's a 100% chance you're going to do it. So try not to focus on don't don't squeeze too hard, don't squeeze too hard. Just try to focus on what yeah. you're looking at yeah, you and the pattern have... that's emerging because if you focus on the thing you're worried about, you're going to do what I just did with the pink on the last piece. So this is good. This looks like, what kind of animal does this look like so far, Jess? I don't know. It looks like... A zebra cheetah? What? Like a, like a zebra color cheetah pattern? Where did the cappy cap go? Oh, you doubled up there. You'll see doubled her. up. All right, what have we got now? So now we've got dark gray. I, I've never used dark gray. This is a Cushing color, too. Yes. Um, the first one was a Pro Cam. This is a Cushing. Okay, this one's pretty hard to squeeze. I can already tell that the tone is going to be different. Well, that... Now that one looks like an old bridge. That one did not look like that. An old bridge, like an old industrial bridge? Yeah, like, you know, like at the old places yeah. with all the old stuff. Oh, and like yeah. The old little bridge. Oh, I love those old bridges. That's, you can make a pattern of that and use that wool, or you could give it away. Well, you know, if I were using the wool flat like that, that would be me doing some kind of wool applique, and it would mean I wasn't cutting it into strips. And of course, this is, it's a very good point, Joss, because, um, if you are a person who likes to do penny rugs or wool applique and you do not strip your wool, cutting it narrow, 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 um, then you you can work patterns into these things. Like, um, what are those things called? Mandalas or something, those coloring book things? Uh, any any manner of thing you could create a pattern with, with dots and spots. And of course you could use different tools too. For example, um, I have this little tool, which is like a little, what is it, a little pipette or something like that. Um, I don't like using this tool, so that's why I'm not using this tool. I'm showing it to you because you might like using it. I find it even harder to control than this bottle st straight, um, and it needs to be cleaned very well every time. And again, I, I find it very hard to control. So it's an option. You might have more luck with it. It's Now that I've said it, I've, I've kind of tainted the idea of it. But if you go into it thinking, you know, this seems like something I can manage, I want to give it a shot, Give it a shot. You might have more luck than I had with it, and you might enjoy using it. So now we've got some dark gray and black. I want to keep this one a bit autumnal. I see a little black if you're feeling crazy. Well, can, do what? Some black. I just did black. I did black and gray. So now I'm thinking about Wait. brick. How about brick and orange? That was the black and blue. The first one was the black. The second one was called <clears throat> dark gray. Oh my okay. gosh. That, so. that looks like... Um, oh, this is pretty. What is this? Okay, this is the Pro Chem color called Brick, mixed be... with the Pro Chem, um, oh I'm sorry, the Cushing Straight Orange. It looks like a cookie. You know, it does look like a cookie. I'm getting some hunger for cinnab Cinnabons for some reason. <laughs> this could be a good autumn one. So why don't we be thinking while we're doing this, instead of focusing me on not squeezing too hard, let's think about what our next color should be. Do you think we should go for like a grape juice or a red grape? or a yellow, or a green. I think my assistant is having a sip of something. It better not Maybe be the white like, cloth. Maybe like really dark green. Okay, I've got that. You do? Yes. Where's the, See if you can find it, it will be in this neighborhood. I think we already did mallard green, so let's not do mallard green, I love it. Mallard green is one of the new pro cams, and it's it's one of my favorite favorite I colors. I can't read to it. This is gonna be hard because they're written in. That's bright they, green. That one. They're in the weird letters that I don't know yet, so this might be hard for me. This is looking like a tortoise shell a little bit. No. A tortoise. Show it to me, Jay. Show Jay which one you've got there, baby. Is this it? 
Mm -hmm. This is coming out good. I don't I know like how to this. read fancy letters. Oh, I did it in cursive. That's the yeah, problem with the world today, right there. The children are not learning to write in cursive. You're not going to be able to read your great grandmother's okay. letters. All right, what do you got? She's got shut troops. All right. Since you insist, see this. This is a very, very bright color, shut troops. It's so thin. I know. Do you want a shot? Just kidding. So let's see. Oh, chartreuse, I might have mixed this with something, and I guess I did, because it's got a little bit more amber in it. Chartreuse is normally, yeah, I might abort mission. I'll give it a few squirts. I, might, I, did, a, I did a little bit mixy mixies just for fun. I probably put some brick or something in there. Let me see what else we've got that's bright. We've got, uh, oh, I think I mixed a little bit with everything. Isn't that naughty? Let's check Nile Green. This is Nile Green mixed with something else. Uh-oh, it's not squirting. That probably means the top is still on. Good thing I didn't squeeze it really hard, huh? Let's see. Yeah, this is, yeah, the top is on. So, this could be a great practical joke. We're doing some um, dyeing, Ted. Yeah, if you can't squeeze your thing, then you know you gave yourself a, a bit of a practical joke by not taking that metal seal off. I don't know how many times I've done that and still haven't learned. So, here we go with some green. Oh, I like that! Yeah? My favorite color is green, so that's why I like it. Really? Yeah. I really like green, well, too. Green like that. That kind of green. This is jade that's green really, mixed with something else. Jade green is a cushion color. Really, um, blenny, just in a good way. Yeah. The cushion colors, if you have a local rug cooking store, they will probably have all the cushion colors. Um, you could always go on to the cushion website or any of the big rug cooking stores' websites. But Cushing obviously has all of its colors, and they have new colors too. Yeah. I always talk about them as being very, very traditional with their traditional sort of prim, primitive colors. Um, but they come up with new colors, like hot pink. Um, the red grape I have is, I think, one of the newer ones. There's a few that are newer. They're, they're not as hot and electric as the ProCam colors. Um, but they are staying, I think, up to date very well and doing a lot with um, some new release colors. Very fun. What do you think? Is that enough of this? I feel like maybe a, a little more like over there. Yeah, kinda. yeah, 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 yeah. So let me ask you this. Is this good or do you think I should layer something on that might be a little bit more blue? Or do you think we should stick with this because it's so autumn? Or do you think we should add a little bit of orange? Well, you already got a little bit of orange. I do, indeed. Maybe but what if we did a crazy amount of orange? Should we do a little orange? No, you like it? You like it? Wait, you think this is good like this? I feel like we should Let's, add a I think Jay's right. Don't you? We have five more that we can do. Let's leave this one for now, and we'll be right back with you with our next piece. Okay. For this, for this little guy, I'm feeling like the opposite of the color wheel vibe. Okay, I'm, so if you're doing the opposite of the color wheel, you've got red, and do you know what the color on the opposite side is? Nope, I'm, I don't. Oh, jeez. That's okay, that's good. How did it just drip from the... Doesn't matter, keep going. Don't overthink it, remember? So the opposite color is going to be blue. No, red, orange, orange. Mm. Yeah, it's going to be blue. Mm -hmm. So we have, we don't have a ton of blues because I did autumn colors, but we have some colors that are have some blue in them. And um, I can see one right now, peacock. It's mixed with something. We also have um, like brilliant violet mixed with black. But I'm going to leave this up to you, and I really respect your wanting to do the opposite sides of the color wheel vibe thing. That is really... The whole reason that you want me to say that, I know, is because I said vibe. I love that you said vibe, and I, I love that you mentioned the color wheel, because I did a video on color not that long ago, and um, the color, the color wheel is a big deal one. for people who do dyeing. It's a good exercise. It's good practice. You know, for people... I mean, I, have, I haven't been in school for years myself. It's a good reminder to think about the color wheel. Remember what we saw when we were driving today after the rain up in the sky? Rainbow. It, it was rainbow. a double rainbow mm -hmm. and, it, and it was like, it was like turning invisible and then turning invisible again. It was really weird. It wasn't really moving. We were moving in the car. But um, the point is looking at a color wheel or a rainbow, um, it's good to reacquaint yourself with colors and where they're positioned because you know that complementary colors on the opposite sides of a color wheel are going to complement each other. How do you do? Very well. You're looking lovely today. So what are you thinking now? Peacock? Yeah. That one's called red grape. I red love grape. this color. 
Yeah, I love this color. This is a Cushing one. I got it at um, Diane O'Brien's store in um, Shelburne, Mass. Liz Young, I think. I don't see. It's like, what is happening? It's just got that smaller nib, so that's okay. We're, you're just getting different motion. Um, and it looks like the same color, but I can promise you it's not. Red grape is has a lot more purple in it than red. So don't fill up all the spots so we still, sorry, control freak, knock knock, who's there, control freak? Um, now you say control freak who? I don't see the peacock. You don't see any what? Peacock? Mm. Um, it's right here. Or right here. The same with thine, it's really relaxing. Uh, I barely even squeeze. It is relaxing. Can I start doing the peacock on the other side? Yes, sure. So I might have added more green than peacock in this one. Peacock was like half empty and I probably added some kind of green. So is that okay for you? We might end up looking Christmassy, so we might have to put something to kind of unite it. <laughs> or embrace it? Yes. I mean, to be fair, green and red are autumn colors, right? Because the chlorophyll in the leaves um, stays with evergreen trees or coniferous trees. It's not every tree that is going to turn a crazy color when it stops getting proper light. But yeah, let's it start also looks crossing. Christmas -y. Let's start crossing. Mm -hmm. Can your little arm reach your little thing? Barely. You're doing Just a good about. job. So we could pause the video for a minute, I think, right? All right, so we're we're doing a counter effect to the accidental green that was marked as a blue. Um, and I've got orchid with yellow. So that is obviously gonna make a, a kind of a brown, but it's gonna be a brown with nuances. And I think it's gonna be lovely with this. I, I feel like it is. What color are you doing, sweetie? Uh, blue purple. Blue purple, okay, great. I like it's what we got nice. going. It's looking real nice. And we're being careful to do our edges, right? Yeah, it's looking real nice. I think this is probably going to be the our last color combo here. I love the way this looks actually. And of course it's going to look different when it comes out of the oven. We have our first two sheets in the oven already. And uh, it's way past bedtime, but that's how we roll sometimes, huh? Yes. Sometimes we like to bed at 10. And sometimes we go to bed later. We're sometimes, crazy. Sometimes Only in the summer are we crazy. And during pandemics. I like this, Joss. I think I think you saved it. I think you pulled it off. So we can pause. I'm just taking a quick shot of this because that little child was working on this piece that was really um, looking Christmassy, and she just layered on a ton of old gold. Um, another cushion color. You know, it's a real true primitive gold color. And did she ever bring? I mean, she just spent the last 20 minutes painting this and it came out yeah. so good so good so that's going to go into the oven in a minute but man that mm -hmm. is that's good Joss you done good baby girl all right so I just found a blue it's blue plus silver gray and that's what I've done here um, I have this all cushing orange. yeah you're doing what just bright orange that's a pro cam color so be careful um, but yeah I think this blue plus silver gray it's giving us a blue, obviously a blue-gray, but it's gonna be a little more interesting than it looks at this moment. I'm happy that we found something that looks like a blue. So that, that's that. I'm gonna put some rust in too. Are you down with that? Me putting a little bit of rust in? Yeah. Now don't go too fast. Although I like the coverage you're getting there. Yeah, it's happening a lot. Is that a leaky deaky or what? It, it looks like a goldfish. Mm, this rust isn't. I'm doing swirly swirlies here. This rust is really. Um, I've never done the swirly swirlies. Well, don't do it with the orange because you didn't start with that. I'm just doing swirly swirlies because I think the rust is a bit too watered down. I had had the bottle of rust for a while, and I added a little bit of new rust on top of it tonight, and I think probably it just. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. I take it back. I'm just doing swirly swirlies to mix her up. Doodle skis, huh? Just giving it a little bit of a different look. Hello. The bot not every bottle will allow for this kind of movement. Um, only the thin ones. Yeah. Uh, only yeah, the ones with the big one. caps. Let me turn this. Only the ones with the big caps. The big caps that comes out really big, you know, big Texas big. But like these, the black ones. These are the ones I'm gonna list. Yeah. These underneath. kinds. These are much easier to manage. 
The big cap, sort of. The, the pointy caps that look like a shot or something. Yeah. Like a doctory shot. I like that. I like that. What do you think? The rust, in the end, did come out rust. We got a little bit of you know a different what? movement here. I'm feeling crazy. This is proper painting. You're feeling crazy? How yes. crazy? This crazy. Yep. Do it. I feel like I missed a little bit of my job. I feel like I missed a ton of mine. All right. Yeah, definitely keep going. Don't go too fast because you're doing a beautiful job, sweet stuffy. And we need to think of what color to introduce next. I feel, how about mahogany? Should we see what color that oh, actually is? Awesome. I'm going to do more doodle skis. More doodle skis? <gasps> I, just, I just spotted dark brown, too. Okay, Should see, this bottle will not allow for doodle skis. So I'm going to do drops. Should we bring in hot pink again? Hot pink? Are you crazy or something? All right, well, we, this, have, this we have a lot of hot pinks. This is hot fuchsia with violet. You want to? I was thinking of original favorite. No, let's do something different. I'm not able to do doodle ski, so I'm going to just do this. Is back. Now be careful, because we don't know that is a cra that's one of the crazy yeah, bottles. That's going to dump. Yeah, don't don't. Um... Well, uh, uh, the last one I used, I think it was like this one. It was a crazy bottle. It was a crazy bottle. Careful, 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 careful. Okay, careful. Okay. Yeah, th this was the one. Oh, I, yes! This was the one I used before. Holy m m mackerel. Can you see that right? Holy mackerel. Holy That's meatballs. pretty benign. Holy meatballs. Yes, meatballs. Yeah. Tasty. <laughs> meatballs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, meatballs. you are my lucky charm. This looks like meatballs and spaghetti. That is, yeah, I'm not, there's no way I'm listing this fabric or anybody's going to get this away from me. I love, don't do too, too much. I love your purple. Well, we, if we this could, does not shout Halloween, then I do not know what does. Well, we could um, save these colors and try to make um, it again. We could possibly sell them. We just recorded the, the names of the colors we used. Mahogany, Rust, those are two cushion colors. This one is Hot Fuchsia, that's Procam, plus Brilliant Violet, um, also Procam. And we started with, what was that crazy black? Blue Procam plus Silver Gray. Uh, Cushing also does a plain blue. I think I had I used the uh, big Procam bottle of powder. Are you seeing what So yeah, I'm seeing Halloween, I'm seeing trick-or-treaters, I'm seeing you um, hopefully not dressed as a pig with a baseball bat after the video game that you're loving right now, because that would be an awful off a Halloween costume. No, I'm not. We'll change our mind a hundred times between now and then. You know what this looks like? What? This might be weird. You, you know the, the, the toxic waste stuff? It, the, the swirls look like that, don't they? Like toxic waste? The, like the swirls. You, you know, symbol. on like oh, buckets of Oh, I see. Like, don't drink this. That kind of You that know, kind of the like swore things. Yeah, I guess. Get I it? like it. I I feel I feel that I need to swirl some more. What do you feel? <laughs> oh no! I, I no! I'm gonna have to stop you this time, just because I think we've achieved perfection with just a little bit more this is cage of this. Under the yeah. Yes, more toxic waste swirls. Now, we were going to do a special effect for this one, but I think we're good here. Mm. Yes. I think we have to use our special effect for the next one, because mm -hmm. this is gorgeous. Joss, what do you think? We good? Yes. Should we do old gold? No, not this time. It's perfection. Okay, we'll be back in a minute with one of our lasties. Let's go. We're going to take the first two out. Stand back. It's going to be hot, hot, hot. Oh, man, look at this one. So this is way more pastel than we thought. It's fruit tacos. It's fruit tacos. But I love it. We, you know, when you get something like this, it's not what you think. You think it's going to be a lot brighter. You can always keep going. Put it back on the table, squirt some more. But I have to say, I love this. It's fruit tacos. Um, this pan is hot too, baby. We're going to leave it there. I, I'm sticking with fruit tacos. Are you, are you happy with that? What's in this one? Oh, this is our Christmassy one that we had a lot of gold. I'm tempted to put more gold in this. Oh no, this is the one we added more gold to. Yeah, so that this is one, hot. I don't, hot. I don't know, I kind of like it. What do you think? I love it. You love it? I can, I can see the smoke. Okay, let's put, let's, 
that's it for now. We're going to put another one in and we're going to finish our last pieces. All right, so we've been a little bit busy here. I just put in some brilliant violet, violet in black and some dark brown, some old gold, mahogany and gold, and gold and boysenberry. So I'm going to leave it up to Joss to decide what color to do next. I notice there's an accidental fleck of green in there. Did you want to attack this with green and then we're going to do a special effect? Did yeah. you want, yeah? Now what do you think? You want to do, this is going to be, that's grape juice. I, you want to do grape juice? Juice just makes me feel green. It's just Why don't we start green. with grape juice? Because I'm just worried about that one fleck. I know like it means nothing. It means nothing. What do you mean? It kind of means something. Well, unless you want to cut that one little bit out. When you put it in the oven, it all grows. And it might grow. it does. It does. So look, we've got the jade, which isn't really jade because I put some like snakes in. You want to try that one? Let's see what it looks like. All right. Right on the patch. Wait, it's right there. Yeah, I think that's the right color. Joss, you called it, dog. All right, go, go, go. What is happening in the background? You know, let me come into the background with some bright green and work with well, you like here. Well, I'm literally in the background. Oh, Teddy's watching one of his Nutty Nut shows. Weird Peppa Pig. So this is nice with the addition of green. Let's do it as quick as we can. It's getting late. We want to do a special effect on this one. And you're it doesn't do... look like lines anymore. Oh, it's okay. It looks like, This totally looks like tortoise to me. Tortoise, tortoise? shell. Yeah, the, like a turtle's shell. And snapping tortoise? Well, not necessarily. <laughs> Although most of the ones around here will snap if they can. The box turtle snap too. We have a lot of those guys around. Here, you know, get some of the, let's trade greens. Cause yeah, your brights, yeah, I'm getting a lot of the dark. Wow, this is real pretty. This is real pretty, sweetie. So Joss, you know what the special effect is gonna be? Butter. <laughs> no, not butter. Not water. 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 Yeah, water. you're going to spray water on. We have never done this effect before, oh, but hopefully it looks me good. and Jay were thinking, what about if you sprayed water on? I wonder if it would um, force it to bleed first, like before it gets in the oven and it does it on its own. I wonder if it would do a, a different kind of effect. And you get the corners. Yeah, do it, lady. Do it, lady skins. And then when you are ready... Of course it's happening in the background. Craziness. I saw what I'm listening to. Doing. Let's listen to this. Let's get this sprayed before I fall asleep at the enamel pan. Can I... Yeah. Do it from a distance. All right. So you're just introducing water back into it. Now, of course, these were soaking in the tub, tub with the Cintraball. Oh! It is. It is. It's kind of removing a little bit of color. Interesting. Not too soaked. And what temperature do we have the oven on? I didn't say that in this video. Around 400. Yeah, 400, okay. Um, you think that's enough water? It didn't do as crazy an effect as I thought, but let's see what happens when it comes out. Mm. Wait, are you sure? What's this? It does take a little bit, here, let's do a close up. It does take a little bit of water, of color, out that immediate spot. It looks let's like, see what like happens. crystal, doesn't it? Sort of? Like crystal? Like when it falls like out. Fancy Gem. That, like when it See what happens. like when the color disappears, it looks like my crystal for some reason. The same. We are going to town on our next one. I've got violet and dark brown, not too too fast. And I agree. I'm doing some squirrely times, but um, I agree. Yours looks a little bit similar. So um, let's not put too much joss because we're going to want to swap out a color. We're trying to do one that's mostly purple. Um, we're doing a lot of mixy mixes, but let's do one that's almost all purples. This bottle is allowing me to do this again. Look at this, Toxic Waste. And I'm going to give you a different purple. What is happening in the background? Alright, come here, baby. And why don't you do, you want to do Brilliant Violet? I need... What, oh, that was the grape juice. juice. How about Orchid? You want to do Orchid? No. You, I don't know if we can do all purples. We could add, how about the hot fuchsia? Want to go for this one? I don't know. See if it, you really want to do the orange, huh? Maybe next. Let's do swirly swirls. We'll do the next one orange. Here, you do some hot fuchsia. And let's do one that's all the same hot tone. Hot fuchsia? That's... Oh my God. It's Here, go. so hot. 
it's so hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hot. see. Hot fuchsia. Oh, there's bright. Oh, there's a bunch of purples. Let me get bright purple. Just perfect. Keep going like that. And this is a much darker purple, so this is going to work out great. You see in Peppa Pig? No, it's a weird. It's just, it's the piggy song that sounds like Peppa Pig. So do you want to pause for a minute? We'll come back with a complete all purple twirl there. More toxic waste. And I'm just going to... Oh, Joss, that looks great. Don't do it on me, though. Joss, that looks amazing. It does? This yes. Right? Yes. Yeah, that looks amazing. I'm gonna See, this it. one was all purple tones, and I think it was a huge success. What do you think? You know what this one looks like? What? It looks like the night sky. Oh, it doesn't look like the night sky. It looks like purple. All right, we're going to get our last piece, and we'll have to figure out what we're going to do with that. It's hard. Last pieces are hard. Let's see. So we have our purple one in the pan. This is our all-purple one that I think looks amazing. Now, remember, our oven here is Should very small. So, what's that? Should we give it out? I don't know. I don't know if I can. It depends on how it comes out. I love Halloween colors. But we, we're crumpling it up in ridges in our pans. You might not have to do that if you have, like, a larger cookie tray size thing or a brighter oven. This is our or last sm piece. Or smaller yarn. Or smaller, yeah, true. Yeah. Um, or your smaller wool. So Jocelyn is going to do this piece completely by herself. I might help with reading, and that is all. The lady is, is that's grape juice. Yes, I'm using grape juice. All right. And then you can tell me what kind of tone. There's a few things I'm not going to micromanage, but like we haven't used terracotta yet. I might use some of that. I love terracotta. You gotta open, okay, she loves terracotta. Open the bottles for her. Oh, yeah, let me open the bottles for you. And you tell me if you want me to step in and do anything. I'm going to put terracotta right here. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Finish the space off. Don't forget about the edges. Yep, the edges. That was like you missed a spot, huh? Yeah. Sorry, that was annoying. I meant that was annoying. I didn't need to do that to you because you're a good lady. Yeah, I missed a couple of spots. Yeah, don't go too fast, though. I know it's late. It's insanely late. It's 10. It's not 10. Yeah, let me help you out here. And there's your terracotta. You want to start your terracotta? I'm going to do a little terracotta. I, I kind of forgot what it looks like a little bit. Kind of like a clay color, like a reddish clay color. Yeah, it's terracotta. You know, let me let me just Wait. shake that one a little bit. Yes, yeah, it's, it's totally terracotta. Questioning if I mixed it with something else, because it's looking like our bronze green. <laughs> Your car is not so supposed to look like cookies. Let's see what happens. Once you introduce it, we have to be pretty um, consistent about putting it across the thing. Uh, yeah, it seems like I either watered it down too much or I mixed it with the second secondary <laughs> color. I also have Rest and, Rest and Fire Red. That is a different one. Um, yeah, you should. That's Cushing Orange with um, Flavor and Yellow, definitely. So that has potential to be real different. There's dust all over the place. That's okay, keep going. You must have no. stuck your head somewhere. Go, baby. Where's the, where's the wherever roller? Go ahead, I like that. That's gonna be a nice bright orange. Where's the hair roller thingy? I'll get it in a minute. What did you do with your face, babe? Don't forget about the sides. Maybe this is a true Halloween piece. You know, we don't have to do the whole background. You can let the background shine through a bit. It's like an off-white. Not too much, honey. Not too much. Not too crazy. I'm trying to get it. I know. It's your piece, too. Yeah, techniques. Yep. Yeah. Different key. techniques. Let me, yeah. um... I like it to be, like, stripes. Okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to leave this world, this world for the end. Okay. So, you want to introduce one more color? Okay. I'm just giving it consistency. I'm not ruining your more stripes. More colors. What do you think? Don't forget we have black, brown. Fire red. Yeah, fire red. Fire red. Right. And then the, the, the swirly swirls with the last piece. Yes, the yep. swirly swirls. Yes. Okay, go for it. All right. Ooh, that's fiery. That's real fiery. Fire red is a pro chem color. You're not gonna do too so much. you're doing swipes, you're swiping it to make the stripes, huh? Yeah, I'm just I see. Like it gives it a bit of a tie-dye effect. Back and like forth. There's if, if, been some, want, some centripetal force or something that's made it If you want to look like this, you need to go back and forth like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't put too much in one area, though. 
And we, we know already that the red is going to blend with the orange to make an orange yellow, and the red is going to blend with the purple. Maybe a little bit more here, sweet one? Yeah, good idea. Just a little bit? Yeah, this piece is lovely. And what do you think? For You're going to do another one? Are you satisfied? We have to do a little bit on the edge. Okay, that's old gold. Yes. We loved old gold. I'm going to attempt to open it. I did it. Good, good girl. Is this your last color? No, I, I need to do this. Look at that old gold. Like on the edges. Yeah. It's going to go like that. You are truly painting, and that is not a criticism. It's good to paint. You know, it doesn't take much water, and it doesn't take much dye to fill up these little bottles. And you want to do some in the middle, too? Because remember, with stripes, we want it to be, with uh, strips, we want it to be pretty consistent. Let me help you with this while you get the next one ready. Yes, the dribbles. Yeah, and that's going to be your, your piece de resistance. Wait, one more, and then the dribbles. All right. Hot pink. Hot pink. All right, she's going for the gold. This is my favorite color. All right. Well, not, not my and favorite you must. color. My favorite dye color mm -hmm. in like this section. Okay. You see? You I see love that? it. You know what? It's picking up both the red and the purple. So it it, that's in. nice. It really blends in. You're marrying all of the colors together. Marrying? Yeah, that's what it's called. I'm not old enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're certainly not. <laughs> You're certainly not. You're that's sure you're not going to be Julia. That's, that's for damn sure. Now for the dribbles. All right. Just yeah. doing a little bit more on the edges. All right. And the dribbles is <laughs> the last flourish of our last piece. The, this was supposed to be orange, but it turned out to be like, should, should we give this away uh, for, for my crab? We could use it in the background of your crab. Great idea. Yeah, my crab. Let's do that. All right. Go for it. We could even make it a blue crab. Mm. So it really complemented this. Look at that. Beautiful. Look Beautiful. That. It's Beautiful. subtle. It's subtle, but subtle is okay with this piece. Me. Look at that. Fill it in. And then we need to do the squirty squirt. And meanwhile, I'm just going to nudge this in because that's doing crazy stuff on its own while it waits its turn in the oven. Oh, yeah. This is why we have plastic on the table. True. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you think, Joss? <laughs> okay, don't be such a beast that we need to like replace everything in the kitchen. <laughs> now, anything squirt. else? Oh, you're yeah. gonna score. I, I see. That's the flourish. Right there. Right there. Is it locked? It's locked. Dear, oh dear. Just kidding. <laughs> it's not locked anymore. Go ahead. Did you fix it? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going for the right there. Okay, you're doing a little bit of co a spot color removal. Yes. <laughs> you are truly an artist, my love. This is how you make the best picture ever. I'm going to nudge done. this one in too. This is our nice fall one. That really looks like a fall forest up in New Hampshire or something, doesn't it? We got some beauties going. We're going to do the big reveal of all the colors I, I, tomorrow. I know I said I'm done with the colors. Did you name this color? It'll be our I last thing. I know I said I'm done with the colors, but... And yet, there's mallard green. Okay, go for it. I saw a green and I was like, oh my gosh. I'm I agree, I agree. This is not hurting it at all. This is beautiful. I like the idea of using this as the background of your crab piece. Can I add some? Yeah, for, for the giveaway. All right, so we can give it away. I don't know if I can give it away. I love it, but let's see how it goes. And do you want to describe this piece or name this piece? Get get in like the little white crevices. All right, let me get in there. You want to describe this piece, and it'll be our last thing of tonight, describe. and then we'll attach. Describe this piece, name it, whatever. What do you think? Thank you. Defies description, huh? And it's really beautiful. It the blueberry fruit. Hmm. Very true. Yeah, really? With no blue? Well, there's, a, there's some blue. You see, I'm trying to... You've, you've created blue a bit with like the yellow and the... And the... Can you take that? No, you haven't created blue. You've created green. <laughs> it is lovely. Should we call it fruit salad? We, we have Should we call it chocolate. fruit loops? Mm. Should we call it fruit loops? Should we mm. call it fruity pebbles? Mm. Rainbow puffs. Rainbow Puffs, last piece of the night. 
Piece number seven, Rainbow Puffs. Jocelyn we're gonna is give, gorgeous. We're going to give it away when we give away a crab. I guess we're going to be giving some of this away. And we didn't record what colors we used, so this is a truly unique piece. And I love it. You want to say bye to the viewers for tonight? We'll be back on in the morning and tack the end of this video on with all the finished pieces. Bye, yes. viewers. Wait. Welcome back to Ribbon Candy Hooking. I am Jessica. I'm Deanna. It is the next morning of the same video, and we have... A wool that we dyed. We have the wool that we dyed last night, and we're showing you how it came out. We dried it this morning on the line. It's been a bit of a rainy day. It took some time. But you want to show off some of the ones that we did last night? See how they came out? Let's go for the first one. Let's go for this one. Yep. That's kind of like... Here, I'll hold them. These are kind of like uh, Halloween tigery stripes. We did a lot, if you remember, with um, purples, oranges, browns, fall colors. This is one that came out really well. Birds are chirping. It's finally sunny out. What else have we got? Which one was this? This is the... Uh, I, is that one, Fruit Loops? This is it's Rainbow Puffs. This rainbow is Puffs. Rainbow Puffs or, or Fruit. Taco? I don't remember. That might be fruit taco. It's hard to remember. But I'll tell you what, we did use a lot of the same colors and these two are quite similar. One is rainbow puffs, one is fruit tacos. I think this is fruit taco at the beginning and I think this is rainbow puffs. We actually have a lot of sun right now. There we go, that's better. But if you can see, you remember how we were spraying one of them with a water bottle. It's going to be this one that's more muted. This one got sprayed out a little more because it's real similar so colors. This one's rainbow puffs. This one's this, rainbow puffs. Yeah. This one we didn't have water. We yet. didn't have water yet. When you spray it, it comes out a bit more muted. This is the one that we did that was all purples. That mm -hmm. one is really good That's with beautiful. little specks of darker purple. And this was the one that was Christmassy that you added the old gold to. Right? That came out real pretty, don't you think? I'm just trying to find the first one. Well, I think, oh, this could be the first one. This one's so pretty and passed out. Now, I just want to remind you, because our oven was so small, uh, narrow, I crumpled it up like this in the casserole pan in pleats so that it would fit in there while it was cooking. Again, into the casserole thing, about 400. We kept each piece in there. We kept two at a time um, for about half an hour, sometimes 40 minutes. If they are still feeling wet, I leave them for a few more minutes. Let them dry, let them steam, let the, let the dye take. Um, if you have a larger oven, you can lay them flat or on a cookie sheet, lay them flat. Just don't reuse those things for cooking and eating. So this one is real pretty. You can see on the back the way that the casserole thing um, pleated. You can also do that on purpose, of course, if you want that to be in effect. Then you can cut um, across it like this to get a line every now and then as part of your design. And then this was our autumn one. This one came out really nice. It's very muted, much more muted than it looked. But really nice browns and um, greens, a little bit of orange. So what we decided to do, because Jocelyn was insistent um, that we turn one of these into a Halloween design, we both did some Halloween designs this morning. And I did this one. I've already transferred it onto Monk's Cloth. I'm calling this one Lollipop Jack. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a really shadowy. It's a pumpkin with like a, a Magdalena uh, Briner type um, lollipop thing coming out of his head. So I'm going to hook that and show you how these kinds of spotted, more than modeled, spotted wools come out. And again, you would think about doing this dyeing if number one, you like the way it looks. Number two, you like the way it looks when it comes out and when it's hooked, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And number three, maybe you don't want to do full blast dyeing, investing in a huge amount of pots and pans. Maybe you just want to do the squirt bottle action and squirt it into casserole dishes that you're not going to use for anything else. It's a very controlled way to dye. And as you can see, you can get a lot of one color. And when you hit it with the spray bottle, you can even get more of one color. You can really mute it. So you don't have to go the whole way with big, huge pots uh, sitting on the stove with stirring spoons. You don't have to do that. The squirt bottle in a casserole dish can be what you do to get really colorful wools. So let me ask you this, Jess. I'm going to cut, and I want to fill in the background of... I'm going to move this a little bit like this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show how, the, how it comes out. Otherwise, what's the point? Because people will say, well, it's pretty, but am I going to like the way it comes out? So I'm going to want to hook the background of Jack. So which of these colors do you think I should start with? I, I have an opinion, but I'm going to leave it to you. The 
if we wanted to, we could just start with the orange one. Now we want to remember, just a reminder if you're a beginner, Let's that whatever amount of fabric you have, or, or sorry, the space that you're filling. So I'm filling in around my pumpkin. I need four, roughly four times that amount. So this might not do it. We can always die again. This might not do it. I was kind of hoping you'd say um, the fruit salad ones. We don't have to, because these three look real similar. Well, we're, we're not going to be doing mine, because that's going to be in the giveaway for mine. Okay, um, we're going to eliminate craft. that. I craft. So should we go for this one? Yeah. And you know, we could always pair it with this one later. It looks real Halloween-y. Or we could just add other colors around it. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to start by cutting this one. So let's put these somewhere safe. And at the same time, um, at the same time, you're going to be getting a demonstration and using the Sissix cutter, um, which I love. I know people love beelines, Frasers. Everybody loves something different. I love the Sissix cutter. This, it cuts so many strips at once. It's crazy. This is awesome. It cuts like going to get him on his frame and I'm going to show you how the Sissix works and then I'm going to cut a tray thing, of thing. number eight primitive wide and a tray of number five the Sissix doesn't come with uh, cutter heads it comes with trays it's about two hundred dollars and that includes maybe two thirty uh, it includes a tray and extra trays are I think 120 so I, I think this is an insane bargain the Sissix looks like this Okay, we're gonna to come to that in a minute. It's, it's heavy. So let's first do, oh, I need some scissors. Can you get me some scissors real fast? Any scissors? We're gonna do, there's a, it's like a sandwich. The board goes under, your tray goes in the middle, your other guy goes on top, and I'm gonna put the wool in there too, and it goes through the cutter like that. So this tray I have, you probably can't tell, but this is a number five, they're real thin. Uh, this is the second tray I bought, a number eight, much thicker. So this one has like 20. So if you do two or three layers, you get 40 or 60 strips with one turn. Amazing. Um, this one, I think the same, just smaller strips. So I'm gonna put him here, right in the middle of the plastic background tray, thanks. And I'm gonna get him, I'm just gonna do one of each cut. Cause I actually think it's gonna look a lot better you know what? Changed my mind. I'm going to do it all in eights. With the five, it's so thin, I don't think you're going to see the spots as well. Let's just stick with eight. We got this. Mom will make it look great. So, you can double it up. I'm just going to start with one Hoozy Meduzy. And right onto the tray, right over the lines, right nice and straight. You get what you get. If you don't put it straight, you're not going to be good. And then I'm putting this laying it right on top over and I'm just feeling with my hand that it's pretty straight. It doesn't have to be, you know, perfect geometry going on here. It's just got to be pretty straight. You need to try to make it as equal as you can. Yeah, you don't want it to go through like that, you know, like sideways. It's, it won't fit through the mouth. So you try to keep it pretty. I can see that my wool is still good. You're going to stick the thing in here. If it okay, can stand fit. back a little bit. I don't want to cut you with this. See, I'm good. And then I just crank it. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is this is the Sissix. The old tattered flag sells this. Uh, that's where I got mine. They shipped it really fast. Ah! Oops, I need that. Can you go get it? Comes mm -hmm. through, and here we go. I'm gonna let Joss do this part because she finds it very. What's the word, Joss? Satisfying. Satisfying. Go ahead. Show them the strips the way they came out. You see, it looks, looks like, like it's not cut, but it is. Look at all these beautiful strips we've got now. Like that. Mm -hmm. Boom. Yep, boom. So we're going to put those there. And final part of this exercise, I've got Lollipop Jack here. Uh, I'm going to tip this, this toward you. I'm going to put the strips in here. Uh, give me one in my hand. And I'm just going to start hooking. Now remember what I said with our dyeing, that there is a front and a back, right? The front had more colors. The back still has a ton of colors because it bleeds through, but the front has a few more. So I'm going to just start hooking along this side here. I put the strips under this here is it tight. So when you need another, you can just Oh, I'm just going to do one strip. I'm just going to show a close up. I got Sharpie stuff all over my hands, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have it super tight, but this isn't my best frame. Okay, don't bump the table, honey. That's not helping mama. 
Now, you are not obviously going to see polka dots, but you are going to see a very regular um, color change. So if you're a knitter, you know that satisfying, to use Jocelyn's word, feeling of staying up late in bed waiting for that color change to happen with your knitting and when it does you see that glimmer of the next color it's very exciting when you're using these kinds of wools it happens every single loop and that is exciting one thing that we know all of the loops will have in common is the same color family because we made the color family on that piece of wool so each loop is coming up a different color but they are blended and they are similar to each other because of the dyeing process so as I pull them up, let me push this closer. Let's get rid of this. I'm get you right on top of this process, as close as you can be. As I'm pulling them up, you can see one is purple, the next is lilac, the next is tangerine, the next is a grayish purple, and then we're back to tangerine. It just keeps changing. I think it looks beautiful. What do you think, Jess? I like it. And... Now, this will be a colorful background, and I'm going to have to really be thoughtful about what I do with my other stuff in terms of color. I'll probably make the pumpkin a solid cobalt blue or something like that, something unexpected. Because, yeah. of course, with rug cooking, you can and you should and do those things. So here comes the end of the tail. I'm struggling with my glasses right now. If you don't know how to rug cook, basically the bottom you have like your hook and you like take the strip and you wrap it yeah. around the hook and then pull up. Yep, Not she's talking about though. the beginning of rug hooking, the basics. Yeah. So it you can see on the bottom. Yep. That is how the thing hooked and here is the piece. And here are the pieces we cut. So this is what your project looks like when you do the kind of dyeing we did last night with this, am I still in the light? With the squirt bottles. And this was on an off-white. This wasn't on a pure white, but it also, can you get out of the shadow, baby? It also wasn't on a colored strips. background. It was a, just an off-white, a little bit toward the yellow. The strips. And it's coming out like this. The, the, the yarn. Yep, the strips, the yarn, and, and the, the loops. Hooking. They're not perfect, but you're getting, I'm going to pull them out and redo it, but you're getting a feel for what it would look like. So... Should we wind up our video? The power is in my hand. The power is in your hand. Okay, come on, be serious. Let's say bye to our viewers. Bye. So I hope you enjoyed that long video. I really recommend this way of dyeing. We might do some more tonight or tomorrow because it's that much fun. It, it's just nice to have the freedom to squirt as you go, as strange as that sounds, and to be able to just put it in the oven. Um, of course, you can use your oven. Don't use a casserole dish twice. But mm -hmm. you can really control what you're doing and what colors you're getting. With the spray bottle, we got a little bit of added um, uh, muting. So uh, the color dispersed more, it bled more, it had more of a watercolor effect uh, than something like this that came out um, real spotted, almost like animal spots. But in the end, I think it comes out beautiful. You end up with a unique piece of wool uh, that you know that you did and you can completely control the color process from beginning to end. You want to add anything to that? We had a lot of fun doing this. I hope you enjoyed this long video. <laughs> See you soon. We might make another hand dye in soon. Cause... Yeah, we might do some with different effects, like just stripies and really seeing like how that it. happens. Really she like really it. enjoyed it, and she's really good at it. So. I think there's a bird nest in the tree. Another bird nest. We will see you soon. Take care, and thanks for watching. I hope that doesn't mean that it wasn't recording the whole end. That's what I needed help with. All right.